here we are, day two, and just me doing some thinking. And I know I broke a few golden rules as far as um investing more than I can afford to lose. I mean, I invest my whole life savings into three exchanges, one Binance, Coinbase, and Voyager. But Voyager was my majority of where my investments were being held as far as cryptocurrency is concerned. And um, there were so many signs and writing on the walls. I wasn't really following too many crypto um YouTubers because I got tired of just seeing the <clears throat> the retarded thumbnails with the surprised look and they look like special needs students like I, I just got tired of watching the videos of people giving other folks hopium and it, it just was it's just so saturated on YouTube with these YouTubers just making these videos and oh this is going to a dollar in 48 hours and I just started reporting those people because they're the type of people on here that would get someone to do exactly what I did invest my life savings into a cryptocurrency lose it all and then these people commit suicide so I just stopped following these YouTubers there's still a few that I follow like maybe one or two that they don't really happy cat caddy crypto was one of them and there's like one other guy that i follow but after doing some thinking you know i might be down but i'm not out like i don't want to do the whole oh i'm gonna have hope and stuff because i mean let's be honest let's just be realistic you know in the fine print they say they can use your crypto if they get li liquidated it's there it's right in the writing it's in the terms of service so we know that that's what they're going to do and your money is pretty much gone unless some type of miracle happens but whatever so for now on i'm just going to get a cold storage wallet a ledger and hold my crypto off an exchange which I should have been doing from the beginning but the problem is most of my money was in Shiba Inu and um, Luna Classic I had some a little bit of Bitcoin some Ethereum polka dot Solana and Voyager token a lot of the cryptocurrencies on Voyager they don't allow you to transfer yes you can sell it and you can exchange it for like something like Bitcoin and then move it off the platform. <clears throat> but by the time I was going to do that, it was already too late. They already halted all of the withdrawals and stuff like that. So, but I would highly suggest that anyone that's watching this video to get your money off any exchange, hold it in cold storage. And then if you, you know, you have to move it back to an exchange, just get rid of it and sell it or whatever, do so. But don't hold it on an exchange because look at the domino effect. They're all just crumbling now. Even the ones that, you know, especially the Voyager CEO, you know, this guy's a jerk, man. He talks all of this crap about how safe they are. And, and, and look, not even less than 30 days they they're right with celsius now so you know they're not gonna re-enable withdrawals because they know everybody's gonna try to take their money off the exchange so my recommendation is just get your money off an exchange i'm not gonna say i'm out of crypto 100 percent because i believe in crypto but I just don't want to deal with the exchanges no more. I think KuCoin is next. At some point, maybe Coinbase. I don't know. I don't think Binance will ever be affected by any of this because they're, you know, the, the leaders in this. But 
I mean, you got to understand people's anger and frustration because, you know, people is going to lose a lot of money. I mean, $30,000 with today's inflation is not a lot of money, honestly, but, you know, I saved that money up for a whole year, just dollar cost averaging into these crypto projects for someone to just shut my wallet off and say, you know, hold, hang on, we'll get back to you. You know, it's just crazy how these institutions can do that. And they're safe because they have these LLCs and all these avenues that protect them. But the retailers are the ones that, like, get the short end of the stick. I just don't understand how there's that's this is why we need regulation in crypto. So stuff like this cannot, you know, shouldn't happen where they can just run off with your money after they've made billions and billions of dollars while they're sipping margaritas on the beach and you over here panicking because you weren't about your life savings is gone. This is why we need regulation, seriously, because this is unacceptable. It really is. But I'm sorry. I know I've been ranting for six minutes now, but I'm going to end this video with just say, please... Please, please get your money off exchanges. Only move it to an exchange when you want to sell it. And, you know, I know they have some, um, like, you know, personal wallets where you own the keys and stuff like that. Honestly, I don't even trust MetaMask at this point. I don't trust no DeFi wallet. Like, I'd rather just have my crypto on a ledger and just be done. I don't. I don't even trust them because you got to hook it back up to the internet at some point and I, I don't I don't want to do all that. I'd rather just get a cold storage wallet and be done. Sit on your crypto cuz that's what I did with Voyager. I was DCA in, and I just set it and forget it. Like I wasn't following too much of the news because it's just a whole bunch of BS out there. People that's just trying to make a quick buck off of YouTube views. You know, so I wasn't really following the news like that. You know, I'll get a notification on my phone from an app like uh, KuCoin, even though I haven't installed. Or I'll get a notification from CoinMarketCap when something is like going parabolic or it went up, you know, 10, 15 percent. So I wasn't following YouTube videos and stuff like that. So just do your homework and be safe out there and. You know, be careful because these people, you know, it's all a Ponzi scheme. It's all a scam, all of it. And this is just proving that it is, that they can just shut your wallet off at any given time and you're screwed. But they're protected. You can't take them to court and sue them and all this other stuff because they're protected. It's all in the clause. These people, you know, they know what they're doing. But, all right, well... Please, you know, just be careful out there. All right, later.